Okay, well, hey, thanks for meeting with me. I, I really appreciate it. Have a good day. And that's a wrap on my first two weeks with my sponsor corporation in the Hiring Our Heroes Fellowship. What am I feeling? Overwhelmed would be the first thing, right? A bit confused, a bit like I'm just barely treading water. And to top it all off, I seem to have insulted my director. <laughs> just out of pure body language, that meeting did not go very well. Everybody remained polite, but uh, in all my efforts to act as much like a cooperating civilian employee, I have a lot of jagged edges still to cut off, right? Probably still a bit too direct with people. A lot of learning has been taking place, that's, that's a definite. And that's my number one goal, uh, is to learn. I have probably told 15 people in the past two weeks to help me learn, to help me shake the only culture I know, and that's the military culture. And that's why this program exists, truthfully. It's to show you that something else is out there. There's a different way of doing things, a different company, culture, and I'm trying. Uh, I think with my co-workers, there's only a few of them, but I think, I think I'm doing pretty good. What I find it hard to do, though, is to shake off that supervisory level mentality, right? I've been a military leader for 15 years. Right? And I obviously answer to other leaders, but that almost seems easy, right, to answer to a senior military leader. This is not easy. And I'm trying to learn, and sometimes it's just simply me holding my tongue and being polite. That's Sometimes that's hard, right, for us retirees or or long time veterans. So at the end of two weeks, I've managed to frustrate my director. I feel like I've embarrassed my project partner and unwittingly I have evaded my manager. Every time we try to schedule a meeting, it gets rescheduled. So I've not spoken to my direct manager for an entire week, which is hard, right? This is my environment. This this virtual world, this little spot right here. I can't go down to her office. I can't uh, have lunch with her, just get to know her. I have to schedule an actual calendar meeting just to talk to her. And, and that's just the reality of what's going on, especially with telework, and I'm not complaining about that. I'm just saying that uh, she's an extremely busy person and uh, I feel like personally I'm the one evading her even though I'm not I just I'm trying to catch up with her and I, I just don't want that impression to be felt by her that wow I haven't talked to I haven't talked to Eric in a week I'm like what's he doing this is part of me learning right corporate culture and I'm doing it from a computer in my RV right this is our master bedroom and I have I made a desk out of our dresser I put some wood on top of the dresser and made a desk telework Florida style button up shorts button up shorts I'm glad I'm doing this this is our three pass afforded to us by this wonderful program, Hiring Our Heroes. Because 
I can make a lot of mistakes and, and hopefully my manager and my project partner, and they're not going to allow me to do something so drastic. It'll damage the company. They won't let me go that far. But they're allowing me to learn. And I do appreciate them. So far, the team that I am working with has been so gracious and understanding. And they've really wrapped their arms around me, and, and I, I really appreciate that. It's, it's been pretty great. I just don't feel like I'm catching on with anything that's going on around me. They're using so many tools, and they're far beyond using technology like I've never seen. I'm just trying to catch up. Not to mention, it's physically not comfortable, right? I am hunched on this stool right here all day. Not much room in this RV to move around, right? I don't got a big office here. So bottom line, after two weeks of working with my sponsor company, uh, I'm maintaining a great positive attitude, I, I believe, in my opinion. Uh, I'm just trying. I feel like I'm trying every day and not gaining any traction. Like, a, like an old general told me once, which applied to his organization, which now applies to this organization, the treadmill's going 10 miles an hour, and you gotta jump on cold stick. Good morning on this Friday morning in beautiful sunny Florida so sunny I had to pull the blind down so Fridays are special in the Hiring Our Heroes program uh, one because technically we're not really working for the corporation doing our job per se we get a chance to break away from the corporation come together as fellows and and just really discuss and vent <laughs> about our week uh, our frustrations, our failings, our successes. And then this is just my second Friday doing that, so more to be developed later on. But the early morning is spent with your program manager and your fellowship and the fellows in your area, and I am in the greater Tampa Bay area in Central Florida. And then the latter half of the morning say around lunchtime you spend time with the fellows nationwide hearing from guest speakers and obviously all of this is done virtually right now otherwise I believe and I don't think I'll ever experience but we would typically come together somewhere centrally maybe in Tampa in a large conference room or an area to, to talk and to understand each other's issues and how everybody's working through their new civilian life. So I've checked email with my sponsored corporation and now I've got to switch computers because my sponsored corporation won't let me use their computer for anything other than their business and now I have to use my personal laptop for our 9.30 Zoom call with the other fellows and our program manager. And I enjoy this part of the week because you get to see that you're not the only person suffering per se, right? Uh, who feels like they're drowning and, and just like all veterans, we love to suffer together and talk about our issues together, especially in this new chapter of our lives. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stunner. She was a winner, started working at the dime. Oh, 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 serves you some reminder to count your blessings, cause it's down in fair, down in fair. Put you down and leave you down. Okay, so that was the morning session. And at that session is where Alexandra, my program manager, announced that I'm doing this, that I'm videoing. So we'll see how it goes. And now we're about to start the one hour afternoon national session. Let's get going. Okay, 
So that was the end of the full second week. Friday huddle is over. National huddle is over. And now it's uh, time for us to do things we need to do to transition. Later on in the fellowship, that'll include, I'm sure, some VA appointments. I've already got a letter from the VA to start to look at my uh, disability benefits uh, and, and more to follow on that, especially if anybody wants information on that. Absolutely happy to help discuss the journey through the VA. But today we're going to run some errands and then I'm going to try to connect with my manager this afternoon. And then tomorrow we're going to spend some time with Nana. My mother-in-law, uh, Heather, is on a business trip right now. She's a travel agent. Uh, so if you ever want to book a trip, especially in Florida, ask us about that. So she's researching all the travel destinations here in Central and South Florida. She's actually in Key West today, which is pretty awesome. Sending some great photos back from that. Um, and follow her here at Heather's Journey on Instagram. So we're going to spend time tomorrow with my mother-in-law and so the girls can bond and we'll get some good tacos and we're trying to have some good family time with her and my father-in-law Steve because this is really really when we get down to it the big reason we moved to the Tampa Bay area family So I'm on our errand, the beast as we call my huge Dodge pickup, the 3500 that I have that pulls our RV. It has to be serviced, right? It drove from Kansas City all the way down to Florida, so we're bringing it here uh, to the local Ram dealer in Dade City, Florida to get it serviced. I say all that to say this. That just happened. Oh. The sound of when your phone drops and it slams onto a concrete floor. Wow. What a way to end uh, a week for me, as you've already seen, a little bit frustrated by some things this week. Oh well. That's a have to repair that. Thought you'd like to know that.